WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update and currently a mixed bag out here. The Dow trading down 57. The S&P is up three. The Nasdaq up five. The Russell is flat. Semis up three. That's flat. You've got gold flat trading 1783. Silver is basically flat. It's kind of a flat market. So let's do this. Instead of looking at our indices out here, which we typically do, let's go take a look at the sectors inside the S&P 500. Kind of get a feel for what they're communicating to you and I. Now, I say the sectors, but we're first going to start with the four equity future, I'm sorry, the four ETFs. The Qs, the Spies, the Diamonds, and the IWM. The Qs have a nice erosion indicator. Top support is held. Much like the NQS new profile, so too the Qs support there being 391.99. The S&P 500 still has a TD9 count top in place, but support is held. And that's the bottom of its profile, 465.60. The Dow Diamonds had a TD9 count top. That led to price testing the TD9 breakout support at 355.75. Yesterday was a bull sash candle that completed a Gartley buy pattern. The IWM is not trading that support. Support on it would be at 223.73. Today is going to become bar number six of a TD9 count. Looks like the IWM wants to head lower. To the XLK, a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Price found support. That was the bottom of its daily profile yesterday. The XLV, no top, just a sideways consolidation with inside its profile. The XLF, kind of neutral at this stage here. It's got resistance at 40.36. It gets to its bullish modes if price can close above that. The XLC, the communication sector, looks like it wants to head lower. So of these eight that we looked at, it's the XLC that says that it wants lower price. If we switch over from this set of charts to the other sectors inside the S&P 500, Let's go take a look at the energy sector, the XLE. What is it doing? It's trading right into resistance. That's the oscillator and change line. If it can close above that, it'll run to 58.59 and above 58.59 on its merry way. The XLY, no topping signal out here, just price consolidating with inside its daily profile. Support at 205.82. The industrial sector, it's got a road momentum indicator top, has led to a sideways consolidation with price above the top of its profile. It is neutral. The XLP has a road momentum indicator top. Uh, price ran into resistance yesterday, the top of its daily profile. It's just a sideways type consolidation. The XLU has a TD9 count top, but if price can close above the TD9 count top high, which is at 67.84, it'll be on its merry way to much higher price, about 70 or so. The XLB out here, a TD9 count top, it remains uh, bullish because price is above the top of its profile as well. The real estate sector. Uh, trying to take out resistance says it wants to head to higher price. Folks, have a wonderful Wednesday. Stay tuned for more great programming.